Hello everyone. My name is Hemu. In today's, we are going to discuss one of the very nice use case of your panorama, like how to remove panorama manage Palo Alto firewalls from the panorama means. Right now, we are, let's suppose we are managing some of the firewalls through the panorama. Now what we have decided, now we have decided to remove the firewall management from the panorama. In that case, how we can basically do the, how we can basically do that particular process. And guys, for this process, I have referred this particular Palo Alto knowledge base article. I have this, this is my laptop logy where I have my primary panorama and I have my like primary panorama and I have my secondary panorama and I'm managing all of my four firewalls from these panorama guys I'm running <laughs> these two firewalls in high availability mode and I'm also running these two firewalls in HA so what I will do I will remove the man I will remove these two firewalls from the panorama management this is all about which we are going to do right now. If I'll go here, if I will take the access of my panorama. And I can take the access of my both firewalls. Firewall DC, firewall 1 DC and firewall 2 DC. Let me log in. Let me log in here as well. If you go here, if you run this command, so panorama status right now you can see i my firewall has a connection with panorama 1 and panorama 2 and you can see session is in connected in like ha state and connection is also in activist is active and connect they are have a connectivity proper connectivity right now i have my firewall 1 here we can check the status so panorama status Right now you can see my firewall one also have a connectivity with both of the panoramas. I can go here. I can run this command. So panorama or like so devices connected. I want to see all the connected devices right now. And you can see I have panorama also have a connection with firewall one and panorama also have a connection with firewall two means I have the connection right now and guys everything you can check here your policies configuration like your security policy your net rules you can see your net for all are grayed out here right your decryption policies you can see here all these things basically i am it coming from the panorama because you know i am managing everything through the panorama you can go into the network tab and you can see this interface related configuration your zone configuration everything is coming from the panorama into these devices now what we have now we have decided so let me just click on sync so they will just synchronize the configuration this is on panorama right now now what i can do <coughs> now i will do the migration before starting the migration guys all before starting that process you can see the software version which i am running on panorama is 11.0.0 and these firewalls is also running the same version 11.0.0 now what you have to do if you want to remove these two firewalls management from the panorama you can we will go through with this document so what we have to do and guys, we will also you have to also follow the same approach. We will log in into the firewall web UI and we will first take the backup. What we will just take the backup. Device setup operation from here you can able to take the backup. And after that you have to export the device state. Save local config as well as panorama template and device group configuration, right? So what I can do, I'll go into my active firewall device tab. Operations. Setup device tab, then setup. And after that, you have to go into operation here. We will get the config management. You can see what I will do. I'll click on here saved named configuration snapshot. 
and you can go here like before removing dot xml i'll give the xml format i'll click on save here and after that what you can do you can go here you can just click on export named configuration snapshot so you can export the configuration before removing export it you can i will put on my desktop here apart from that i'll just also export the device state export device state i'll just export the device state as well why i'm doing these things because you know if something happens something nasty happens then i can use these things for the recovery purpose now now go to firewall management setting device setup management now this is the place where we have to go like device step setup then management and here you will see this panorama settings what here we will get these panorama settings now what you have to do now we have to basically click on this panorama settings then disable device and network template and checkbox and select the checkbox import device and network template before disabling then click ok means what we have to do now i'll go here i'll just select this some disable panorama policy and object disable device and network template you can click here before now you will click on here and you will see disabling panorama policy and object will remove the panorama pulls to policies and object please check import if you would like to keep a local copy of the panorama policy and object because you know guys all the configuration on this device right now coming from the panorama so what we have to do what we can do if you want to want the same configuration which are available right now on this firewall when you remove this this file from the panel if you want that configure in your device what you have to do you have to click on this this option and if you if you don't want to push anything or if you, if you want if you have decided to remove all the configuration which is coming from the panorama in this device in that case you can you have to you don't need to select anything you have to click okay but i want all the configuration so i'll just select here i'll just import panel policy in object click on okay now you can click on disable device and network template import your network and device setting related configuration click on okay now you can go here what do you have to do <coughs> you have to select this option you have to click on okay right now you can you have to go with the panel policy in object similar way now verify all the policies pushed from panorama are still shown on the firewall you can go here click on okay now you can go into this policy tab here you can see we can able to see all the configuration right we can go into the interface tab we have a zone details we have the interface details right now you can go here again into the device tab now what we have to do now we have to remove delete the panorama ip address and we have to run the commit means from here we have to remove delete both the ips of the panorama so you can go here go here you can see these are the two ip which we have to delete i ip address both the panel you can delete here click on okay let's do the commit i am doing this local commit here guys
and we will wait for this commit to complete. Just taking some time. Let me do the commit again. Or commit all changes. Now you can go here. Now, once this commit will complete, you will get this message here like commit has been completed successfully. After we have to log into the panorama, we have to take the backup of the configuration into the panorama, like save named panorama. Like, like we have to click on save name panel config snapshot, then name the config file like this. And verify the five day state so they're disconnected from the summary. And after that, we have to so remove from the template and other things. So let's see. Let's go one by one. Let's wait here. Right now, 99%. So let's wait here. Commit has been succeeded. Go here. Go to into the firewall to device tab. Right now, config is in synchron. Config sync is going on because we are running in HA. Let's wait here. Let's wait for this synchronization to complete. Config is not synchronized. You can go here into the task. Config sync has been failed. Why it has failed? Duplicate global AV protection profile, right? There is some mismatch. Why? Because you know, we also need to do one more thing here. You have to go here. You have to disable this. And you have to repeat the same thing on this device as well. You can go here, disable it. Click on OK. Now go here again. Delete both of the IP address of these panoramas. Click on OK. Just wait here. Let me just do commit all changes. Now just click on commit here as well. Once this commit will complete, you will see. We have to see. The config has been synchronized properly or not. So there is a, some problem with regards to the application group. Media streaming group is already in use. Application group is invalid. I go into the object tab. Application group. Yeah, I have the media streaming group. Let me go into this device. Into object tab because right now we are running in HA. So we have to just see, we have to just see how the things, yeah, everything is good here as well. Now let me do one thing. Let me go here into the dashboard. Let me do the config sync again. going on
still config sync is going now it is synchronized go and do the com commit here as well okay run this command so pandemic is status now we don't have anything and we don't have anything right because they have synchronized the configuration now once you do that thing after that what you have to do you have to basically you have to log in into your panorama and you have to just take the backup so this backup we can take take from here you can go into this panorama tab setup tab Nine percent comment will also succeed here. Panorama is a bit slow, slower today. Because I've upgraded on eleven basically. So I will also do the downgrade of them because you know there are some challenges I'm facing the slowness issue and other things on eleven. Now I'll go into the operational tab here and I'll just go here and I'll just create a config snapshot like firewall one. I'll give the name here before firewall one removal. So like that I will go here and I'll just click on XML. We have to select the device, device group and template. Global template, Europe region template, sorry, APEC region template and India firewall because you know, these are the device group and template which I'm using for my India firewall. And after that, I just click on okay. I've taken the backup. Now I'll go here and I'll just export the panorama configuration snapshot. I'll select that. Even though I can select from here as well. Now we have exported the configuration just for the backup purpose, right? So this is the next thing which we have to do. Now we will go into this tab here, panorama summary. Here we will check the device details. We'll just refresh here. You can see firewall one and firewall two. They are in disconnected state, which means they are good here. Now we have to delete th them from here, right? They are in disconnected state. Okay, what's, so what <coughs> before deleting from here, I'll go into the device templates. TS India firewall template. I'll just deselect, click on OK. I will remove the devices from my temp template stack. Now I'll go into my device group. DC, device group DC Firewall India, I'll go here. And I'll just remove these devices, click on OK. Now, because I do have a log collector, so I'll go into this log collector group. device log forwarding 
because I have configured the perfect list. I'll just modify this detail. I will deselect this firewall one and firewall two. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Guys, this device or this log collector part is not available into this document. Okay. So that's why I have added here. Now we have to remove the file from device group. We did that as well. Now we have to now delete device from the device group. Template and template stack. Now what? Now we have to delete the device from the panorama managed device tab. And we have to do the commit. Means we have to delete the device from here. Process is guys very straightforward. Now you can go into the summary again here. Manage devices summary. These are the two devices. Go and delete them. Fail to delete the device. Cannot be deleted because of reference. Device group, okay, we still have the reference. So let me just do the local commit first. Let me go here. Go from go here. India firewall. Okay, I think this is we have not selected that properly. That's why from the device guru. Let's recheck. Deselect. Why it is not basically going from here. Deselect them. Commit is succeeded. Let's see. Yeah, now it has removed from here. Now go to into your template. Okay, from here we don't have. Now you can go to into summary. Select both of them. No device group assigned. Now just go and delete. And do the commit. So guys, this process is pretty straightforward. That's how we have to do the that's how we have to remove the firewall from the or like panorama manage firewall from the panorama now guys just i have a like three courses on palo alto firewall one is like pcnse training i have one course which is like palo alto advanced tech troubleshooting training which is this one and i do have a one more course which is like palo alto firewall panorama advanced level training so if anyone is interested for these courses guy you can reach you can basically contact us or either you can basically go into this link and you can able to opt them http https colon double slash vncps dot courses dot store and in this store tab you will able to find all the courses pcnsc training is around 36 plus hours advanced tech troubleshooting training is around 70 plus hours and your pa panorama advanced training is around 32 plus hours basically okay so these are the three courses i have on the palo alto firewall apart from that we do have a f5 ltm gtm asm advanced networking for aws Python for network engineers. I do have a advanced SD WAN training as well on Cisco Beptel around 50 plus hours. So if anyone interested for this training, you can reach out to us on this particular number. This number belongs to Hemu. Thank you everyone guys. Thank you everyone for joining me today for this lecture.